Now you know the we are in the in the computer world now. And all the guys coming up are all internet guys. Internet. And WhatsApp and Facebook and uh, what have you. Messenger and all those things. So if you wait after 30, please, you are in a danger zone. Your account can be blocked. Because you said, oh, I'm 30, I was doing, okay, time is okay, 35, okay, let me go, oh, 30, 40. And uh, you are still thinking how to, whether you can, you have to get a relationship or not. Look, before you get to 50, you forget about it. Forget about it. That is why you see a lot of, uh, I was telling the group last Sunday that I, I know a lot of prominent people, uh, doctors, postmen, and women. Um, they got money, everything, but they don't have, they don't have kids. Why? Because they put the, 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 uh, the professional first. That, oh, if I want to get an Olympic medal, I have to, I don't have time to, to marry, or if I marry, I don't have to get children, I will wait for that. And then, at the end of the day, after you've collected all the medals, you see that no show. Then you are out. So it's a very, very good advice Pastor is giving us. Um, today, you talk about so many things, and I am sure when we get into groups, we are going to discuss about it. You talk about friends, that's very, very important. Because First Corinthians 15, 33 says something very serious. He said, bad friends will mess you off. That's the, the present thing. Bad friends will mess you off. So if you want to get a good friend, you see, the pastor was telling me that is, we were using different tactics, that they were using what we call underground tactics, that you see the lady and you are not sure, you go and see the, the best friend and you'll be asking, how do you how do you think? How do you think? And then you tell you that please, that person says, say please. Uh, it's not your size, so leave it in peace. It happens as that. Yes, but you have to make friends before you get into that, that serious relation. And then uh, Pastor was advising us not to just befriend me. You see, you cannot be befriending anyone you so. Today, oh, I'm your friend. We get into some relationship, and then after one month, uh, a new girl comes to call me and says, Oh, this girl is heavy. Okay, then you drop. And this, that was not what Pastor was saying. Now, you get into it, know the person, and you, you, you go around with it. Nobody knows where you are in. See, last week I said that Patrick came here alone. And he's going home. There are three of them. And uh, today he has come. And we see that uh, things are moving all right for him. He's, he's always smiling because he has made a good choice. So you cannot come here and stay here for five, six years, seven years. And then you go home empty hands. You see, the parents will not even and say, hey, you were in Europe. And uh, nothing happened. So what are you coming to do? Uh, so please, we are very, 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 I mean, uh, we are in a very good shape now. Uh, and uh, we've got somebody like uh, uh, Pastor Jim who is always trying to, you see, it's not the, I, mean, I take it from him, it's not the day at the church they will talk about these things. Because, you see, in Africa, what they do is, uh, when they are talking about certain things about them, they think that oh, they, they are small, small boys and small, small girls. And, and so to, the pastor will be trying to hide. See, they, they will go around it. They will go around it. But see, we are all grown-ups. So he's hitting the point, so we must take it very, very serious. Amen. 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 Um, when we get into groups, uh, we are going to discuss a lot about it. So I'm sure that uh, they still continue the series.
So you pass us is going to continue next week. So please, those who are, I mean, you can see, you know those who couldn't make it again, please tell them that. Pass has started a very serious series for the youth. This is a youth Bible study. See the point. It's a youth class. So please come along and then listen to what the senior pastor has prepared for us. Amen. Amen. Yes. And uh, you thank Pastor. He's doing a very good job. And uh, missionary pastors been doing here, going there. And then uh, so we need to pray for him almost every day. In the morning you pray for pastor. When you are going to bed, you pray for him in the day. And twice in the day, it's, it's a good thing. And we have to practice it. Because he, he, he is the only person who is been giving us encouragement in communion. So please, uh, we have to. So, so this time, at this time, we are going to pray for him. So with all eyes closed, with one accord, with one heart, we are going to pray for our senior pastor. Rock of Ages, everlasting Father. Thank you for the life of our senior pastor. Father, we thank you for how far you have brought him up to this afternoon. Father, we thank you for the blessings you have poured on him all these years. Father, this afternoon we are asking that you continue blessing. We are asking that you give him more strength, good health, long life. Father, help him always in whatever he's doing, that will also in turn help us to grow. Father, we are asking for the double anointing of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit Himself will quicken whatever He does. We are asking you to pour rain of blessings to all His handworks. That success will follow Him from His day to day affairs. But I'm not forgetting about the family. We are asking for your wonderful protection that you will protect the family from all evil. But I keep the family, cover them with your blood, and let success be their portion of life. Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We thank you for the word which you gave us through our senior pastor. Father, we are asking you that the Holy Spirit Himself will help us to absorb it in our heart. Let the words be on our heart, and not let be hearers only, but doers as well. But as we live here, we are not living alone. We want to live with you in your presence. That you continue to protect us from all evil, from all sicknesses. And we are believing strongly that you bring us next week, Sunday, to continue glorify your holy name. This is what we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And the whole church says, Amen. Any you come out here? Anyone here for the first time? All right. Yes. Um, I thank God that we very regularly we come to church on Sundays and listen to we worship together. It's so is uh, something is happening at home. If I say at home, I mean Ghana. Some people have stopped going to church. Yeah, you know why? They are accusing the the pastors and the prophets and the evangelists that uh, since they they get closer to God, they should have seen that there's coronavirus coming, and then uh, so that they would take some precaution. And since they couldn't do that, some of them have stopped going to church. Is that serious? No, that's not serious. God cannot show everything to. The pastor or the prophet. Even you remember uh, Elisha, Elisha, who had the double anointing of his master Elijah. 
Even when you remember when the the, the widow's son died, what did Elijah say? He said, God has hidden it from me. Even Elijah, who had the double anointing, God did not show him that the child is dead. So please, don't sit in the house and say that oh, Pastor didn't prophesy that coronavirus is coming. We have COVID-19 and he didn't preach about it. So because of that, I will not come to church. Please. Coronavirus is not Pastor who invented it. So stop those things and then come to church on Sunday. And God bless you. We come here with our needs. We pray to the Almighty and then ask for certification. And then we believe that God is going to bless us as we listen to his word. And by listening to his word, we are going to increase our faith in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, it's a um, builder. Am I right? Yes, please. So who is coming around? Biula. Biula, Biula, Biula. Who is Biula? Please come and tell us what is happening tomorrow. Before we are starting from tomorrow and then we go down. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., uh, Beulah is inviting all of you, all of you. So those who, who have not heard the, the, the good news, please tell them that tomorrow at 7 p.m., uh, Beulah is inviting each and every one. Uh, Pastor made a comment and then uh, you have to take it seriously. Some guys maybe have not seen them for some time now. And then uh, maybe the Lord, when you come to the meeting, uh, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Mm. And you'll point the girl to you that look at this girl very carefully. Maybe that's going to be your future wife. So set meetings. I love them. Please. So don't sit in the house and wait that God will bring you a wife. It doesn't happen. No, doesn't yes. God gave uh, Adam a wife because there was nobody around. <laughs> and so please, even you pray that, oh God, this is my need. I want to marry. And then uh, you don't make a move. And then you sit down. And manna has stopped falling all these years. So please, we have to make a move. As Pastor said, you make a move and then you get into a relationship. And then be the next step. So please, tomorrow come around and let's have fun here. It's going to be pajamas time. The pajamas is only for the ladies. Yes. Um. Right, Pastor. Can you come and, uh, okay. Tell us. Yes, I, I have a question about this because uh, they just quit. It's not going to happen. No, that's not yeah. happening. There's no meal bread service because you have a Ghana thing, right? Yeah, and so that's what I was kind of thinking. Uh, okay, you're going to yeah, announce about the Ghana thing? Okay, go ahead. <laughs>
Thank you very much. These players are football. Is it football? Okay. Now, that's on Wednesday. On Tuesday, um, um, we're going to have some do some remodeling here. As you may have noticed, I, I tried to do some patching this week uh, in different white spots on the on the wall, and we tried to put something so it doesn't put chalky, but evidently it's not all done. And uh, I talked with Pastor Vitali; he wants to do the cracks a little bit better. So what I'm thinking is. Uh, on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to be uh, patching up and painting, uh, which means this. I believe that we'll need about three people to help out on Tuesday. I'm not quite Right. So, um, tomorrow, tomorrow is Beulah, Tuesday. Remodeling Wednesday is Ghana, Thursday and Friday we are all. So um Saturday, Saturday the church, the church service is coming on. A week uh, Saturday service is coming as usual at six p.m. There's one problem, right? Yo, six p.m. on Saturday, prayer meeting is coming on, right? Um. If if it is possible, uh, issues you can start maybe 15 minutes before time because uh, the there's going to be an English club uh, at seven o'clock on Thursday. This yeah, Thursday? Saturday. Saturday. Saturday because the, the because of the remote, so they couldn't do it on Thursday, so they want to shift it to Saturday. So I'm talking to talk to me on Saturday. Seven o'clock is a good time because okay. the prayer ends at seven. Okay. Yeah. So that is it. Right. Um, Sunday we are meeting as usual at two p.m. But we come early as usual. Yes. So please. Can we next Sunday? Can we yes. There's communion next Sunday. Please. I know when is communion. People come. And so please come and take communion. Uh, all the sins you have started first January, please come and sanctify yourself with communion. Um, by God's mercy, will be cleared off. So those who are absent today, please tell them that Sunday is yeah. right. It's a generation to be served. Children. Write and notice, please. And read it. They need help. Um, Eben and uh, Shabi and uh, Deborah have been helping every Sunday. So please come along if you want to also grab. Just see uh, Eben and we tell you what to do. Right. Any birthday this week? Yes. I'm
So I'm hoping that next week, by the grace of God, no one will get sick. We are trying to we will come around to praise the name of the Holy Father. Thank you for coming and God bless you all. Amen.